This is All Things Therapy, where we are changing consciousness, one conversation at a time. And I'm Lisa Tahir, your host. Hello there. Welcome to All Things Therapy podcast. I am Lisa Tahir, your host, and I'm just so happy to be here with you today. I got to Los Angeles yesterday from New Orleans and found out some really wonderful news, and it has to do with the podcast. I've been doing this over seven years, and today is episode, in fact, 374, and I do it because I love it. And had no idea that All Things Therapy podcast is in the top 1.5% of podcasts in the world. And I just want to thank you because you all have helped me make that happen through subscribing and sharing episodes with friends. And I just want to thank you so much for helping All Things Therapy be heard and seen by more people. It's my desire that that increases. So please do give the podcast a five-star rating and written review because that really helps get this content in front of more people. And our guest today is someone I want to have in front of more people. I am just delighted to have with us today Alicia Power. P-O-W-E-R, such an appropriate word for her and her work. She is a spiritual teacher for over 40 years with students around the world. And today we are going to learn from Alicia and discuss and hear about how we can increase our intuition so that we can trust ourselves more, as well as how energy healing changes our state our mental state, our physical state. And also, I'm going to talk to Alicia about what is happening on the energetic blueprint level right now. And with that, Alicia, I'm going to bring you in. Welcome. (laughs) Thank you so much, Lisa. How exciting is this? You and I getting together. Um, I'm just really, really excited where this conversation goes today. (laughs) I am too. I am so pleased. And I thank you for being with us from Australia. Yes. Wow. It's my morning. (laughs) Wow. And it's my evening. (laughs) That's kind of funny in itself, how it's a day is ending for me and beginning for you. I always find that to be so amazing. So amazing. And it feels to me, I was reflecting on this as I was falling asleep the other night, how all our minds are melding, melding, our, you know, like I reckon we're because of the digital internet interface, like everybody's in there. <clears throat> I, don't, I don't know. I reckon we're all blending and merging yes. <laughs> and kind of like that outside world, you know, the sun coming up in the morning and going down. It's kind of like, I'm going, how is, you know, there's something going on. I don't know. It was, it's just a funny little thought I had. <laughs> yes. You know, so I want to do a mix of some questions that that I have and in, in looking at your work and and such, as well as you really being able to speak from your heart and soul and mind, being that you're just such a profound teacher. And I want to know, on one hand, where you'd like to start, and at the same time, how you can share with us how you learned to help heal the human aura and even what is an aura for those people that might have some confusion around that. Wow. Um, yes. So, <clears throat> so I've been talking with the spirit worlds clearly two way dialoguing with them in specifics and clearly now for about 30 years. Um, but before that, <clears throat> I was just, I grew up just recently, I've been telling the story. I grew up in a family of European parents over here in New Zealand, Australia, this side of the world, but they had come from Europe out of the Second World War. They've passed away now, the both of them, but um, they were in the Second World War, but they emerged out of their experience. They met after the war in London, but they emerged out of that whole experience knowing that they had, um, because they'd experienced miracles, they shouldn't have been alive. Both of them had, you know, incidents many times where they shouldn't, shouldn't have been alive and they were alive and they, you know, life went on. And they, but they had this fervent realization that something on the other side in the spirit worlds, whether it was saints and 
in their Catholic religion, you know, Mother Mary and yeah. Jesus were um, looking after them, like really, 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 not just sort of, it wasn't just an idea or a theory for them. They they knew something was looking after them. There was no doubt for them. And so I grew up in this environment knowing, you know, that you can chat to people on the other side and they can help you. So um, around about the, the age of 17, 18, quickly, I just went to university and learned how to meditate. But I plugged straight in with, found a group of people who were following an amazing spiritual guru uh, who was who had just recently come to the West from India, but he was the, a real enlightened master. He wasn't just sort of pretending to be. This guy was really, really, really merged with God source. Who and is that? Uh, he's a, a gentleman called Prem Pulsing Rawat. Okay. Anyway, um, and you could just feel it pouring off him. And so for 16 years I followed the spiritual master but was initiated into his uh, energetic lineage, you could, you could say, mm -hmm. and these incredible... Um, meditation techniques, you know, which plug you straight into God's source. So yes. for 16 years, I was practicing meditation, spent six years in an ashram, celibate <laughs> in my early 20s. Oh, my gosh. And that was amazing because I loved it. My soul, I was like some kind of an old soul that went, wow, yeah, I, I'm a little monk -ass, you know, I'm sort of a monk, you know, I'm, yes. I'm so happy, you know, <laughs> kind of just 100 million percent focused on God's source. That's me, you know. Anyway, um, but after 16 years, um, I got a very strong tap on my shoulder to start opening up my access point, my chatting ability with the worlds of spirit. And, and I did that by reading an exercise in a book and just very quickly felt an, an energy coming towards me, a spirit being coming towards me. Uh, and over time, I practiced and practiced every day. And that two-way kind of you know, who are you? What's your name? You know, like, are you real? You know, yes. chatting with this being and starting to get answers, starting to get information coming back to me. And it was because I had that silence in my mind, like mm -hmm. that all those long decades of learning how to be silent in my mind and really feeling, mm -hmm. knowing that something was coming towards me um, in, in that, in the ethers, you know, I'd never experienced that before, but there it was, it was, it was happening. And so those conversations started to get clearer and clearer. But well, just really quickly coming to that question about energy healing and aura. So the being that first started to talk to me, uh, it turns out now that I know now 30 years later, um, but I find out pretty quickly he's an aura healer. He's a master energy healer and starts to teach me about the aura and pretty quickly shows me that he can come into my auric field and, and move my body mm. and um, friends and you know, people would start coming as clients and pretty quickly I was just having regular clients and this being and his teams of spirit beings would come and move my body and and send light through my fingers, through my arms wow. and through my hands and kind of like a scalpel, you know, moving and showing me as we were working what they were doing. So it was this really interesting interface time, right, right in the early stages of me not knowing anything about the spirit worlds or, and, and getting used to dropping my logic and seeing mm. another part of me, see, not, not seeing with my logic, not even seeing with my eyes, but seeing with a bigger part of me of what yes. was happening in the auric field. And um, so watching them, you know, over time, I got to understand how it works and how it functions and the complexity and the anatomy of it and how the spirit world technicians go in there and um, slice and dice and mm. pretty well send light um, rays into sections of our electromagnetic field. Yeah. So everyone's got a morphogenic field, an electromagnetic field around their body, but it's not just around you. It's about a meter out and it can go much further out, of course, but mm -hmm. it's actually superimposed into your body. It's it's actually the blueprint. Mm. Um, it's got layers and layers and layers that are all kind of uh, interpenetrating each other, a little bit like Russian dolls, and they step down and step down until you get an energy matrix that's actually sitting uh as a blueprint of your organs, of your body tissues, of your bones. So there's actually 
energy blueprints for your body. Wow. Okay. And, sci and scientists, I picked up um, serendipitously, <laughs> walked into a news agent and picked up a new scientist magazine that on the cover was the energy body. I've actually got it sitting here somewhere. Uh, and the article, the main featured article was that now in double blind studies in clinical laboratories, they're playing with this energy body and mm. they're playing with it with worms and tadpoles and who knows what they're playing with, but they're starting to tweak it. I just want to quickly say that they're noticing how it works so they can tweak something in that energy field. Yes. And something will change in the physical. So, wow. you know, a worm with two heads. I mean, you know, weird. But anyway, so this is very real. This is something that scientists are now playing with as well. Yeah. And um, so over 30 years, I've kind of been working, partnering very closely with many, many, many different types of teams, that spirit teams that come and work on someone and okay. um yeah oh my god it's just complex and incredible and far-reaching and completely affects and changes the way you think it can it can change um the body accelerating its healing because the blueprints can get hit, cleaned up underneath parts of the body all sorts of different things um so oh my gosh and the psycho for psychology emotion um, you know, our human state, our human emotional state or psychological state. Um, the, the main reason initially that I was working with these beings was helping people just lift and also lift their consciousness mm -hmm. framework and um, uplift their inner platform of um, perspective, right, and just change their, change their um, outlook on life and rebalance them around that that was our my initial um reason for for helping people but now i've understood many many more sort of variations of how it changes you and layers <laughs> i sense various layers and is this is this what you call soul mentoring i know your website is soul mentoring.com s-o-u-l how is it that you practice with people with soul mentoring. So now these days for about 15 years or so, um, maybe even 20 years, I've been only working uh, not with individuals, but with groups um, okay. online virtually. And I've the soul mentoring part is that we travel um, in a beautiful inner journey, inner visualization into the world of spirit. They guide us into kind of healing stations in the world of spirit and and beautiful high level spirit beings arrive teams of spirit beings arrive and um, travel into our akashic records into our ancient mm. soul history because the soul um, is a part of us that looks out of our eyes our silent witness but it's traveled through many lifetimes and many incarnations and it carries with it history it carries with it memory and memory of um, trauma, perhaps, or memory of joy, memory of being, uh, you know, a master teacher in another lifetime, memory of being very, you know, experiencing degradation in another lifetime. There are so, so many cycles, so many experiences, the whole range of experiences, and it leaves a mark, it leaves memory. And mm -hmm. sometimes that can cause doubt and hesitation and, and slow you down in this lifetime. Mm -hmm. because it's kicking in that kind of memory still sort of as a resonance is still there in the background. Uh, so soul mentoring is clearing and cleaning a lot of that background soul memory. Time for an ad break and a pump break. Feel the zing of pump lime rush or the blast of pump berry storm. Whether you're running around at work or on the school run, walking the dog or is the dog walking you? Excite your taste buds and add some flavour into your day with Pump. Perfect for life on the go. Grab your favourite pump flavoured water to get the most out of your day. But also when we're in those places, in those high places as groups, we get opportunities, and this is really it's where it's absolutely amazing, we get an opportunity to stand in front of groups of very high spirit beings and ask for acceleration of our soul awakening okay yeah and that's that's incredible that's exciting that's exciting that's exciting <laughs> 
Yes. Does that have to do with increasing our intuition? Okay, so intuition is, uh, for me, it's the silent whispers of your spirit guides standing around you because they really do try and be appropriate and not cut across your free will, but they do nudge. They're good at nudging. <laughs> and from my point of view, these spirit guides so gently and carefully yes. give you a sense of what feels a little better in a moment, right, whether it's left mm -hmm. or right. So they will help you. They, it's kind of like they send a little, it's like they, you know, blow a little yes. <laughs> sense of go right. <laughs> yeah. And and we feel it as the intu as our intuition. So I, I'm going to, you know, be put down on the record that for me, because of my many years of experience of dialoguing with spirit guides and getting to know how they work, like in detail, to me, it's your spirit guides actually whispering. <laughs> okay. From my point of view. <laughs> yeah, no, I hear you. And that makes sense. And I think it's so important that we learn, I think, especially women to listen to and trust our intuition, because I think culture and society try to inadvertently dry, draw us away from our inner knowing of people, places and things. How can you how, how can we really stay tuned in to that inner knowing? about people, Look, places and things. Yeah, there's a I rely sometimes when when I really need to make a big decision, I rely on a visualizations, like fun little fun little uh, visualization tools that give me a stronger sense, that help me get clearer. I'll give you a really fun little tool that I use sometimes. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I look, honestly, it's such a basic one, but it really works. So, as a visualization, you're standing in front of two doors. Like, for example, you know, shall I go and live in Hawaii? Shall I move, right? Or shall I stay here? Or shall I take this job or that job, right? So giving yourself even three options or four options. But what we're going to do is we're going to step through the door and we're going to just drop out of our logic and just feel the energy and feel our feelings. That's all okay. we're going to do. And you'll instantly know which feels great. And in a way, what we're doing is we're stepping to the future and feeling what it feels like in that future. So do you have something that you have to make a decision about so that you can kind of like quickly play with this? Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, for me, it's, it's usually, Lisa, how to divide my time between... Okay, no, this is more specific. I, I'll be really vulnerable. Online dating... It's, it's not been something that, um, that I re really love. So, but I'm asking, do I, do I try online dating or not? Oh, okay. Let's do it. <clears throat> so okay. two doors in front of you in your visualization. One door is yes, I've done it. I've got my profile up and it's a few weeks in how am I, you know, how am I going to feel? And the other door on the door, it says, no, I, cho I chose not to start. Right. <laughs> okay. So Let's go, let's open that door on the right, which says you've done it. It's been a couple of weeks and we're do, going to do a snapshot of how you feel. So open the door, step through, and I want you to notice how it feels. Well, that's, I, I have done it and it has been a couple of weeks. So, and it feels okay. Oh, feels okay. It feels okay. That's it good because there's, there's an element of safety, isn't there? It's like, am I emotionally still feeling safe? Is something happening, you know? I yeah, feel that's... good about putting myself out there in that good way. Good girl, good girl. Is there anything else? Because the contrast is you open the door and it's another contrast. It's another decision. You know, it was a contrasting choice in that moment. We can try something else. But every all the listeners and everybody watching, this is such a simple visualization and it's really, it's quite a powerful one. Like, for example, you know, big things where you've got to decide if you, if, you know, you're going to go right or you're going to go left. And so you walk through the door and feel what it feels like having gone to the right, whatever that is. And then you go into the, the second door and you feel having gone to the left. How does it feel? Most of the time, they're very contrasting feelings. And, uh, and you get a sense of that future inner position of how you're going to feel. So anyway, that's I like really... It. I think it's a really helpful visualization to because you can actually kind of 
project yourself into what this possibility will feel like. And your body tells you pretty quickly if it's something that, yes, you want to walk the path of or no, if you don't. Like I can feel that pretty immediately in my body. I like that. Thank you. Very good. Very good. So I've got another one, um, which is a little bit more interesting for women. I've actually written um, a little ebook um, because women walk into relationships with their eyes closed. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> I've actually got this really good ebook. Anyway, it doesn't matter. And it gives you tons awesome. of tools, gives you yeah. tons of tools of psychic assessment of okay. the soul of somebody that you're you're contemplating. That sounds that awesome. Out dating you and I can have a conversation about this afterwards actually Lisa yeah. and I might send it to you because I think I um, would love that you're in a position and you're the sort of person that you'd actually work really well with these really simple visualization Thank tools you. and it gives you an instant snapshot of the truth of what's sitting of the kind of energy the psychic energy that's sitting in someone um but here's let's let's do another one everybody um and you can do this in business if you're contemplating bringing on a business partner or um, gosh, you know, if you're in a negotiations and this is a quick assessment of somebody's true energy and of what they're truly feeling. Uh, so let's do it. Um, so close your eyes, everyone. Okay. So this is the quick, quick visualization. So pretend that person is standing in front of you and now put a golden bubble around that person. So what we're going to be doing is assessing the truth of what that person is feeling we're experiencing it's great in family dynamics as well now I want you to put a golden bubble about you, around yourself and what we're going to do now is push your golden bubble into the golden bubble of that person and as soon as you've done that you've merged your bubble with their bubble you drop out of your logic below your logic and just feel what that person's feeling it's like instant snapshot of what that person's mm -hmm feeling and you can do this with someone you're confused about or you've got a child who's <laughs> stressed about something and you want to find out what the truth is or your partner's not talking and you don't know what's going on right yeah. so this is a moment where you let go of your logic and you get an instant feeling of why they're the way they are. Mm. Um, maybe you can feel some deep unconscious fear in them um, or the, they've got too much on their plate or the, you know, you're instant, instantly you can feel. So you're using your intuition. It's a big part of you. It's the 90% of your, of your being rather than the 10% of your logic, right? So you're using that part of you to get an instant vibe an instant snapshot so it's so simple lisa did you feel i that? did i did absolutely very clearly so so this is a very simple these are very simple visualizations but they really really work and you can just use that in so many situations there you go thank Everybody. you thank you alicia i want to share magic mind with our audience and when we come back i'd love for you to talk to us about the gift that you have for listeners. It's 26 mini workouts for soul clarity. Will that be okay? Absolutely. Awesome. You all know that I really enjoy drinking Magic Mind. There's a lot of new tropics out there now. Magic Mind not only was one of the first, but I believe one of the best. Because of the ingredients in the two ounce herbaceous green shot that I drink in the morning, I used to mix it in cashew milk. Then for a while, I mixed it with water. And now I just drink it from the little bottle itself because it has such a yummy green just flavor to it. And it has wonderful things in it like ashwagandha, cordyceps mushrooms, lion's mane mushrooms, turmeric vitamin C. It has ceremonial grade matcha in it and a compound L-theanine in matcha helps to extend the positive effects of caffeine. If you drink coffee like I do, and I have gone from drinking three cups of coffee a day, feeling jittery and sick to my stomach to not even finishing one. And I feel more alert and on point than ever, as well as any 
hum of anxiety or stress just really melts away. And it's because of these new tropics in Magic Mind. I'd love for you to try it. There is an opportunity for a 56% discount on a subscription order or 20% off a single order if you just want to try it. Go to magicmind.co forward slash Lisa, my name, and that will be in the show notes. Um, let's get back to Alicia. Hello. <laughs> I think I need to try Magic Mind. <laughs> I would love to have it sent to you if that would be okay. Oh my gosh, I would love it. I was just thinking um, that most of those ingredients I've got in my cupboard. Yes. I love, oh my God, I love mushroom um, no tropics. No tropics. Me I too. I'll, I'll ask for them to send you a sample to try. Oh, you are so I'd love kind. to do that. Thank You're you. welcome. You're welcome. Will you share with us as we're coming to the conclusion, this gift that you're offering our lister, listeners, the 26 <laughs> mini soul workouts? Absolutely, everybody. Uh, you are more than welcome. These are 26 mini workouts for the soul, for soul clarity, uh, five minutes each. And as you move through each of them, you will be gaining skills. There's many, many comments now. Around about four to 5,000 people have gone through this. Wow. Yeah, this beautiful course, like these little five-minute mini workouts, uh, because I take you into inner journeys really quickly in that five minutes, five to six, seven minutes, and um, you just start connecting in with beautiful love beings, and you get shown how to uh, gain skills um, in working with your soul. You bring your soul in many, many times, and um, have deep conversations with your soul and invite your soul to tell you what it wants. Hmm. This is on a week, but it's actually was designed for a weekly once a week, but I've opened it up so people can just move through all the modules themselves at their own pace. But it really is about your soul letting you know what it wants rather than your logic. Cause we run our lives from our logic a lot of the time we're running from our heads hmm. and our soul is left behind. I want to tell you a quick story, everybody. Yes. Um, <clears throat> I came out of that spiritual meditation um, time and oh, so funny. And my husband and I, I got married and we were trying to start a business. And one day I was driving fairly slowly across a um, an intersection and a car came and tried to sort of at the last minute cut across me to turn right in front of me and we had a collision. So oh. the, my car was quite badly damaged, but I came out without, with I think a, a bruise on each knee. It was just hardly anything. But that night I was lying down and someone was doing some Reiki on me and my guides came in and said, why are you trying to kill yourself? Mm. And my guide said, your soul is so bored. It's trying to run a business and you're this incredible spiritual dude you have to go full time in your spiritual healing. And from there on, I just jumped, left a, a wage, a wage job, and just went full time in spiritual healing and okay. energy healing. Uh, but this whole thing of that you don't really know what your soul is really wanting, and it's going yeah. to create a Mack truck if you don't talk to your soul. So, soul workout. Now, this is where you go, everybody. So, it's soulmentoring.com forward slash swan with a double N, S-W-A-N-N. -N. And I'm going go. to put that in the show note as well. Thank you for that gift, Alicia. My pleasure, my pleasure. Exciting. What do you want, what do you want to leave us with in conclusion? Okay, so first of all, Lisa, I just want to thank you and acknowledge you for the work that you're doing with this podcast, bringing in amazing guests Every single time, your audience is obviously loving it. So I just want to acknowledge you. Thank you. <clears throat> and the other thing I just want to quickly say is that spirit guides are real. They're, they're walking with you. You're going to meet them on the other side one day. Mm. Um, and they're going to be there to hug you and to greet you and to take your hand and lift you higher and higher in light. So it's a good idea to get to know them now and have chats yes. about your life now. That's the main thing I want to say. Thanks, everyone, for having me. Thank you, Lisa, for having me. <laughs> That feels so true. Thank you for that. I feel that absolutely, yes, that we can get to know our spirit guides here, always leading us, guiding us, whispering, like you said earlier, like come here, not there, and like wanting to delight and surprise us if we open and allow that to happen. Absolutely. So true. And is, 
is the best way for people to reach you through soulmentoring.com? Absolutely. Soulmentoring.com. Please jump into my uh, mailing list. Just awesome. click on one of the buttons on that homepage. Um, there's free videos on there. Come on in. I am so looking forward to meeting you <laughs> and connecting. Thank, thank you so much, Alicia. I'm sending you just beautiful love. <laughs> thank you, Lisa. You're love welcome. Love being here. Thank you for having me. You are so welcome. Have the best day. Thank you. And you too. I will. Thank you. Bye. Bye. And that's a wrap. Thank you. Be sure to subscribe, rate, and review All Things Therapy on the platform you're listening from. And let's connect on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube at NOLA Therapy, the abbreviation for New Orleans, Los Angeles Therapy, reflecting my two favorite cities. And let's keep changing consciousness, one conversation at a time.